Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the challenges we face in deep learning. So from that video, you will get the idea why Onyx is required and why people are prefer this Onyx very much. So if you have already worked with deep learning, so you should be familiar with these frameworks. So these are some popular frameworks we use in deep learning. So there you can say Cafe, PyTorch, TensorFlow, Keras, MXNet, and so on. So it provides different, different functionality uh, so that you can solve different, different problem. So this PyTorch is well known for this computer vision because it is more powerful to this computer vision. And if I talk about the TensorFlow, it is like also powerful. And after Keras came, it has made our life easy. So Keras uses uh, TensorFlow in the backend. So what Keras has, uh, so what Keras did, so Keras used that TensorFlow, you can say low level API, uh, for converting the high level API. So uh, when we used to use the TensorFlow uh, framework, so we need to write a, a tons of code for that. Uh, but after uh, when the Keras, you can say out of the TensorFlow, so they, so they made an high level API. Now you will be writing less number of code and you can solve any kinds of problem. That's how there are many frameworks, okay, you can use in your day-to-day -day use cases. Now let's come to the hardware accelerator. So whenever you are working with the deep learning, so this framework is not our only tool you will be using, but there are other tools you will be using. So the main tool is here, the hardware. So whenever you are using any kinds of framework like PyTorch, TensorFlow, or Cafe2, so with that, you will be using a hardware accelerator. So what is hardware accelerator? So in machine learning, we usually train a small, small statistical model but if I talk about the deep learning, so it's kind of different thing. So here we need to train a whole neural network architecture. So for that, we need a high computational power. So it is not possible with our CPU. So we use this kinds of hardware accelerator and that is optimized with our deep learning solution. Like there are uh, many kinds of, you can say hardware accelerator, like from the NVIDIA itself, they have lots of, you can say GPU model. And they also provides this CUDA you can say support okay so this CUDA, uh, so this uh, CUDA toolkit so this CUDA is already optimized with your you can say deep learning solution and apart from that there are many you can say hardware accelerator like uh, from the intel itself there would be you can say intel gpu then there is you can say google tpu also so if you don't want to train your model to gpu so you had tpu like tensor processing unit so you can also select that so so as you can see, these are some different different hardware accelerators. So if you are, uh, so although if you are selecting a specific framework, okay, for uh, we can say for your solution, but but you have to also select you can say different hardware accelerator. Suppose uh, uh, if you want to use this Nvidia, so at that time you you need to use this CUDA CUDA toolkit, and if you are using the Intel, you can say GPU. So uh, for that, like there is you can say different toolkit. Okay, you need to use, and if you are uh, using the TPU, so for that you need a uh, you can say different setup. Okay, so here you are not only considering the hardware, so you are also con considering the software also, because this uh, devices support, okay, different, different uh, software. And you have to set up the environment with respect to your hardware selection. So that is the, you can say another problem we have in deep learning. So after that, whenever you will be inferencing your trained model, so you should have the same environment, okay, in your inferencing environment also. Because uh, when we do inferencing at that time, our model should be optimized. Otherwise, like inferencing would take time. So for that, what we do, we usually uh, quantize the model and we, we have to, you can say, optimize the model uh, with respect to uh, our uh, in, in inferencing structure. So there are some inferencing, you can say hardware, uh, you can use like uh, uh, this uh, uh, NVIDIA T4, uh, you can say most uh, mostly used in, you can say inferencing sector. And there is, you can say also, you can uh, do the inferencing on the CPU also. So there is, you can say already yeah, a tool called OpenVINO. So it helps you to, uh, you can say optimize your model to the CPU. So you can uh, directly use that uh, tool also. And if you want to like, uh, you can say run it on the edge devices so you can also do that okay so you have to convert your model to the tensorflow light and you can run it to this you can say this kinds of uh, hardware like it is google coral so you can run your model inside your google coral then you have raspberry pi and you have uh, uh, javier okay uh, so you have a uh, lots of you can say s devices okay you can use so ultimately uh, what is happening here you are not only considering the uh, you can say uh, framework part so here you have considered the framework your hardware 
even your inferencing structure so all the things you need to keep in your mind then you will be you can say creating a uh, pipeline and you will be uh, working with the deep learning sector so that is the thing but the problem is like suppose uh, you have trained uh, you can say model uh, with a different framework and with a different hardware uh, now if you want to like do the inferencing at that time you might have some of the issue like you cannot directly uh, you can say uh, import that model to the to this edge devices or to this you can say cpu so at the time you need the same kinds of infrastructure okay uh, uh, in your inferencing sector also so uh, so for that you need to create the same kinds of in infrastructure okay in your uh, inferencing environment uh, then you can run that model so uh, this is the you can say one cons uh, i can talk about and also suppose you have uh, trained a model using the tensor flow now you want to convert it to the pytors okay because pytors is like you can say more lightweight okay so if you see the pytors model size so it is like uh, quite less than this tensor flow model so so your model can run very fast okay in your inferencing sector and uh, also like you, uh, suppose you have used different different you can say hardware accelerator at that time okay you can also optimize that okay and you can also quantize your model uh, then you will be you can say uh, doing the inferencing so it is like directly not possible okay because uh, if you are already using a different different framework and different different hardware and if you want to like use that specific model uh, you can say uh, to another uh, framework or another hardware so it is not directly possible so here this you can say onyx comes okay so onyx is an uh, you can say already intermediary you can say framework uh, that can convert uh, you can see your uh, model to a uh, you can say another uh, model type okay so that you don't have to worry about your uh, system you don't have to worry about your hardware you don't have to worry about your framework okay uh, so uh, so if you have trained a model uh, using a different framework and uh, using a different hardware it's fine so what onyx will uh, you can say so what onyx will do it will take that model and it will convert to the onyx model file so onyx will be you can say an intermediate you can say uh, model type so that model type can be used uh, you can say with a different different hardware and different different framework so it is like directly supported to all the framework are available okay and it is also supported to the edge devices also so if you have your onyx model so you can run it anywhere you don't have to worry about but if you are also thinking like to convert uh, your uh, pytorch model to tensorflow uh, or tensorflow lite so you can directly do that okay so uh, from the onyx model itself you can uh, convert to uh, any specific framework if you want so that's how the problems look like okay so one side you you have all your frameworks and uh, another side you you have all your you can say hardware or software so i think now you get the idea okay what is the problem we face uh, usually in deep learning and why onyx comes into picture so uh, yes it was all about from this video and i think you all have understood so let's meet at the next class with a new topic thank you